What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido, Candido Training HQ, and this is footage of a full upper body strength workout on my strength control program. Now this was taken last week, and I've told you guys before that leading up to the Arnold Classic, I am going to modify my program a bit in terms of the strength days. I'm gonna work my way down into the rep range because I need to prepare to max out. But this is what I recommend for just building general strength. So I'm doing three sets of six, and the main thing you'll notice is I am actually using a pause. Now, people have been asking me a lot recently whether they should use a pause or whether they should go unpaused when training for general strength and when training for powerlifting. And this is a difficult question because I honestly don't know the answer. Personally, I used to always go unpaused, but that's just because I wasn't training for powerlifting specifically. So now that I am training for powerlifting, I do plan on going paused much, much more often, even even when I'm not just preparing for a meet. But something I have noticed is that even a lot of competitive elite powerlifters still do involve some touch and go bench in their training as well. So I'd say if you are using the strength control program, don't use a pause on the strength days just because you're already pausing on the control days when you're doing the spoto presses. That is of course assuming you're just training for general strength. And after the bench press work, I did dumbbell rows with 100 pounds, which isn't that much, but I'm really just emphasizing a full range of motion in this workout. Now, some people say that on rows, you should only bring your elbows up to your body and then don't go any further because your lats aren't getting engaged any further beyond that point. In my opinion, if you're a bodybuilder specifically targeting your lats, that is what you want to do. But as an athlete, you really want a big range of motion because you want to work your entire upper back and your rear delts in this movement, not just your lats. I want to emphasize that for this particular workout I was pretty conservative as far as the amount of weight I used both for the bench press and for the dumbbell rows now on the other hand when it comes to the seated dumbbell press I actually went a little too heavy on my peak set and you'll see my form breaks down and I turn it a bit into an incline press which is definitely not what I was trying to do and I'm gonna drop the weight in the future also want to talk about real quickly I've been asked about why is there only one peak set for these accessory exercises for shoulders and biceps and the reason is on this linear style program the intense for the benching and the upper back movement is going to be quite high so you're really not gonna have that much energy for these accessory exercises so I'd rather have you just go for one peak set and have some intensity for that set and go either near failure or to failure however in the six-week program there's more variation in terms of intensity so you can have the volume a bit higher for the accessory exercises also want to emphasize I was intentionally doing a cheat curl personally I found way better progress doing this than a strict form curl I actually went a full training cycle doing nothing but strict strict form and I just get way better results in terms of hypertrophy and in terms of strength progress on the bicep curl when using loose form. As my optional accessory exercises, I did rear delt rows and chest flies. Doing some rear delt isolation can be crucial to shoulder health, and usually I actually do a face pull with external rotation, but this time I just did a rear delt row instead. Normally what I do for my two optional accessories is rear delt work and then a vertical pulling movement that's a bit lighter. However, for this session, my back was a bit sore from the deadlifts the other day, so instead I just did some chest flies at the end. Once again, keep in mind that these optional exercises are not necessary when I'm on this program by any means. All right, that's it guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching guys. Peace.